Hey, what's up guys, my name's Alone, and welcome to a video I'm very hyped to make. I've been playing an Iron Man in RS3 for the longest time, and I've not really been playing my main that much, except if I'm doing like some bossing video or something like that. But I've actually not really been leveling my skills on this count for a very long time, and as you can see, I'm pretty close to maxing, except for, I guess, invention and archaeology. Archaeology, of course, being the lowest level I have because it's a new skill and I haven't really been leveling this account in general. But I have 48 hours of double experience and I'm going to start off by getting 99 Hunter with this. And I just want to make a video showing my progress during the double experience weekend on my main account. It is going to be so insane to see these insane experience drops and... I'm so ready to get started with this. I'm basically just going to AFK 99 Hunter. I'm getting some agility experience as well, but uh, I don't want to turn this on until I've used the double experience that I already have. I have to get 4 million experience in Hunter, but it is super AFK, so it should be pretty chill. Actually, a couple of things that I didn't know because I've never done this before is that you can get this Ring of Metamorphosis, which has a chance of giving you double experience, meanwhile catching butterflies, so that will be even more experience. And I brought some decorated hunter urns as well for even more experience, as well as some extreme hunter potions, arctic bear, which gives a plus 7 hunter boost, so compared to just catching normally without having any helps, this is going to be a lot more experience. The difference is definitely massive. Before I was missing a lot of catches and I'm still missing now and then but not nearly as much as before. And I was getting before like 500,000 experience an hour with double experience so that's like 250k without it. And now I'm getting 1.2 million experience an hour, so like 600,000 without double experience. And I'm sure you can optimize this even more, like I don't have the hunter outfit, I don't have the yaki stick or whatever it's called that gives a bit more experience. So I could definitely get more than this, but uh, it's, I mean, 1.2 million experience an hour. That's going to be like, what, 3 hours to finish this? I'm happy with that. Man, I actually got PK'd at the end of my grind, I'm at 98, pretty much halfway to 99, but I'm just going to do the last level or the half level without a bear and the extreme potions because I don't really feel like going back to uh, buying all of those things. Also, kind of low on money, so I would have to sell some stuff for uh, me to be able to do that. But yeah, very close to 99 Hunter and I have 43 hours left. Here we go, just one more catch if I can actually catch it. There we go, 99 Hunter first one for the double experience and I still have 42 hours. Took a bit longer than I wanted, but um, yeah, I got PK'd once and I had to go to the G a couple of times to buy new things and I AFK'd a bit. So six hours used for that 99. I don't mind at all. I actually have 4.8k protein planks. I transferred all the other ones or converted them into planks because I want to use all of these for construction. I already have as well as 67,000 double experience in that skill, so let's see how far we can get with 4.8k protein planks. Just going to be making some mahogany tables and before I start I have 9.1 million experience to 99. So let's see how much closer to 99 I can get with at least 4.8k protein planks. So I'm only 13 planks away from being done and I got just barely 90 construction and that was like 1.4 million construction experience. Took a very short amount of time so that's some really nice gains. So the plan for now is to use up all the cores that I have. I have 64 advanced pulse cores and I have 82 cinder core and I'm going to use all of them definitely because I have 614,000 rune crafting experience. I know that rune span is pretty outdated but I have to do some AFKing so I'm just going to be in this place and use all of these cores and uh, let's see how much experience we can get and then after that I'm actually going to sell my noxious scythe which is like all the value I have in my bank and I'm going to buy some more budget gear and then I'm actually going to augment a lot of stuff and I'm going to be doing some slayer to train both slayer combat in general as well as I'm going to bring my CD side and I'm going to get some decent farming experience as I have a lot of double experience there as well and I want to get my invention up as much as possible. I've never really done uh, much double experience weekends so I don't know if uh, the disassembling is also doubled but if the experience from that is doubled which is like 1.1 million then per disassemble I'm going to get a lot of uh, invention levels very fast. So before I've used any of my cores or even started, I have 8.1 million experience to 99. So let's see how much of that is going to be gone after I've used all of them. Look at this insane experience drop, 648, 
790 from rune span. It's so weird to look at. I might have underestimated the cinder cores. I actually thought that these would drain pretty fast. As I said, I don't really play a main account that much. And I've used what, like three or four? And I've gained more than this because I started this counter a bit late. As you can see, I have 6% experience down to 99 from where I was, 89. And I've gained like, I think, 500,000 experience. And I've used three cores. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to probably not have the time to use all of these on runecrafting. I'm definitely going to at least use all the double experience I have and more than that. I might go uh, and do rune span all the way until like 32 hours left, so 6 more hours or 7 more hours. And I think that should be a good stopping point and the amount of cores I have left at that time I might as well just use on something else because I have a lot of double experience on farming so I can actually just choose what skills I want to toggle here and I can just only pick farming. I mean come on this is just beautiful I've used like four pulse cores and look at the experience 1.5 million almost or 1.455 and uh, I have 32 hours and 22 minutes left, so I'm just going to hit 92, which is in 1.3k experience. And then also actually got two more pulse cores from a random key that I got, and some agility training dummies, but I don't really need that, I'm already 100. But uh, 92 runecrafting incoming here, and then I want to get into some slayer, as well as getting those invention levels. So it's going to be some insane invention levels if you get double from actually disassembling. So as I'm kind of strapped for money, I'm just going to sell my Noxious Scythe. That should be enough for most of the things I need for Slayer. I mean, I'll just buy some budget stuff and I should be fine. 375 mil, let's hope that actually sells. And it does sell for basically the medium price. And uh, in the next clip, I'll show you guys what I am going to use. I know that this is not the optimal way to doing invention, I'm sure there are way better items to augment, but I just bought these because it seemed pretty easy to do. I have a lot of augmented crystal halberds now for melee, I have two augmented crystal staves and two bows. I have almost at level 10 already, ganodermic poncho and leggings, which I am just going to disassemble as soon as I get to level 10 and augment new ones. And I bought two torax plate legs and I have one here in the inventory and a chessboard plate but I didn't actually get the second one bought yet and then I have a Carol's top and legs as well for when I use the bow I have one more of each of these but I, you can only buy 10 augmenters per 4 hours so that will have to come in whenever I get those I guess first level coming in, 107 attack uh, I've put up all the counters here so you can see all the experience that I'm getting and for some reason I have the uh, thing bar here showing, I have to get rid of that. But uh, yeah, 29,000 attack experience and I'm going to be using the Cinder Cores on Slayer because I have quite a lot of double experience in that. And then for farming and that's probably going to be it because I don't care too much about the combat experience and as you see I don't really have that much double experience in them as well. So I think just Slayer and farming for, for whenever I do get some CD side tasks. So let's see now, I have augmented level 10 legs and top, so let's uh, just disassemble them and see 499,000 experience, but it is double now. Let's see if it is going to be double, and it is not. I don't think that was doubled, so 499,000, but uh, yeah, that's kind of what I thought, because I assume that when you actually do this on items, it is not going to double it because it's like an interface first and all that. So, wait, 7 million to, yeah, 7.5. I thought I had 6 million before, but yeah, 7.5 million. But it is still very nice, of course, to get the Slayer experience and some farming experience with the CD side if I get some good tasks. So I'm still going to keep training my invention and just train combat stats overall. So with this information now, I did some more Slayer and I was feeling like it wasn't really worth it. I really want to get more skills closer to 99 rather than just padding my 111 Slayer up as much as possible. So what I decided to do is actually stop with that and I'm going to be augmenting this Abyssal Wand later on as well when I actually can get more augmenters because I'm on the uh, buy limit, which is unfortunate. But what I'm actually going to be doing now is I'm going to grind the farming experience like crazy. And uh, with the cinder cores and double experience on farming plus the double experience event, and AOEing down Turoth is going to be very fast, 
And I bought the Corruption Blast, which is a 40 million ability that cleaves down enemies. And by the way, if you're wondering, you have to use an Abyssal Wand or some other weapons like Staff of Darkness or Slayer Staff. I think Staff of Light works as well because you need to be using the Slayer Dart ability to cleave these down. You're going to be wanting a Smoke Devil as well because uh, if you put some scrolls into it, it is going to cleave these down. And I have put a new counter here of farming. And if these can disappear, then I could see how much time I have left on my counter up here. But uh, unfortunately I can't, but I think it's like 29 hours or something. But uh, as you can see, the farming experience is already coming in 800 from one single drop. And I'm just going to be cleaving them down like this. And uh, we are going to see how much farming experience I can get in one hour doing this method. I guess I can already calculate how much this is going to be an hour. Um... I've been here for 15 minutes, I started at 29.45 roughly, and I'm at 188,000 farming experience. That is insane, I'm getting like 800,000 experience an hour for farming. I am very happy about that, I have a lot of experience to go through, so uh, this should be an efficient way of doing it. Just finished an hour and I got 900,000 roughly farming experience, but that is of course with cinder cores and double experience in farming, but I don't really have that much left, so after that I'm going to use the normal post cores, but I should still be getting like 600k experience an hour, so getting 99 is probably going to be pretty fast. Also I did augment my abyssal wand and abyssal orb, also bought duplicates for if these go to level 10. So after using all the double experience I had in farming, I did roughly, I think I'm at like 55 minutes now of using normal pulse cores, which is only 150% experience compared to the cinder cores being 250% more experience drain on double experience, which is like crazy experience compared to the normal pulse cores. But uh, with normal post cores, I'm getting like 350,000 an hour, something like that. So it's still very good experience and I need roughly what is that 4 million experience a bit less than that for 99 so i might as well just go for 99 farming i think that would be a good use of time as i'm also leveling as you can see i have a level 8 abyssal wand and 5 orb so if i just do this meanwhile getting 99 farming i'm probably going to get a decent amount of invention experience as well Oh my god, I didn't even notice it when I got it because I was AFKing so much. I'm 98 farming by the way, on my way to 99. I just got the Constitution pet, Morty, at uh, 67 million experience. So maybe a bit overdue, but uh, very nice to get it nonetheless. I actually think I have this on my Iron Man as well. But it is a very good looking pet. I don't know if I can summon it now because I'm in combat, but uh, I can show you guys in just a bit. And there we go, that is 99 farming done, and it was fairly quick, I mean, I've used quite a lot of hours, but it was very AFK, and now the question is, what do I do with the 18 and a half hours left? First thing I want to show, by the way, is that I got all these crimson charms and blue charms from that grind, I might have already had some from Slayer before, but uh, still, like, over 1000 crimson charms from that grind as well as I got two ones to level 10 and almost a third to level 10 so I'm just going to get that to level 10 just in a bit and this orb is at 7 and I got one orb to 10 so we're going to get 1.5 million invention experience here so let's just disassemble these for some invention levels 69 70 or maybe 70 and then one more for hopefully 71 so uh, if i just get this one to level 10 i can also get 72. honestly i can't really stand looking at one archaeology anymore so i've started training it and double experience on this is going to be very nice and uh, just doing the tutorial right now to get started so i just wanted to get the level up just a bit to so not have one in the skills i got to 40 archaeology and because the experience is not doubled on restoring artifacts it's not actually that impactful to have double experience on this so i actually paused it and i bought 10,000 mahogany planks and i'm going to be making these prawn brokers and I'm going to be making the Flotsam Prom Brokers, and they are pretty good experience. I'm going to build one just without double experience. 1.1k experience, so that is 2.2k experience roughly per build. And I will need like 40,000 planks, I think. But uh, it's not going to be as bad as 80,000 without double experience. So I'm maybe going to go for 99 construction. But uh, regardless, I'm going to get a lot of construction experience. Just finishing the last few experience points here on a portable workbench. That is uh, 99 construction. 
Very nice to have another 99 during the double experience weekend, making the most of it. And I actually bought a bond for 30 mil. They're pretty cheap right now and you can trade them in for 15 treasure hunter keys. And the reason why I did that was because of this. I got 700,000 double experience in rune crafting and what I'm going to do now for probably the last time here is just go to rune span and get as much experience as possible and get as close to 99 as I can. Spend some more hours in the rune span and my current counter is now on 2.3 million and I'm now using the points that I got from that on unstable essences again and this is pretty much going to be the last thing for my double experience weekend or 48 hours of double experience rather and that means I got 99 construction, 99 hunter and 99 farming in these 48 hours as well as 95 and a half I guess rune crafting. That means I only need to get these last four levels these last five engineering levels and then invention levels and archaeology levels to be able to be maxed on my main and i am really happy about that i'm actually i mean i did intend to do more invention but because the invention was not a doubled experience it felt really useless to actually do that and i spent some more money instead on uh, buying two bonds so i spent 60 mil on that pretty much for some double experience overall like one point maybe three million rune crafting experience that i got doubled which uh, of course got sped up a lot by cinder cores and uh, it was pretty insane how fast the experience rates were for rune crafting in a rune span which was very afk so probably next double experience weekend i might be maxing which is kind of insane to think and my Iron Man in my other series is also, well, decently getting there when it comes to Max. So I'm really happy about this progress. And uh, I'll be back to you guys in four minutes. Because I'm already over 99 agility, I didn't really care to use these training dummies. But I guess I can use them in the last minute. I got 7,700 experience drops from every single time it actually procs experience. There you go. So, I mean, the experience if you have these and you need 99 agility on a main account is definitely pretty insane. If you want to get 99 during a double experience weekend, you should definitely use these. But, uh, yeah, with 50 seconds left, there's not much more to say. I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you have any advice for me for the next and upcoming double experience weekend that is probably going to be in like three or two months then uh, any advice is greatly appreciated in the comment section below. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did please leave a like. It helps my videos get seen by more people. So if you did like it it's very greatly appreciated if you guys would like the video. But anyways see you in the next one guys. Take care.